Dynamite here, the explosive one, and we're playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're back again, another episode. Feeling good, feeling great, feeling great, feeling good. We've made some renovations, as I like to do at least once a week. All right. Where does he get the money? They wonder. They, they wonder why. It's because I've never sold a single thing in this entire game until the house mechanic came up, and then I couldn't be stopped. Either way, bottom floor looks good, man. Let me show you the work we've been putting in upstairs just so you guys can be familiar with it because this is where we're living now. This is where we live. This is our humble abode. We put the deity statue over here. I think it's a good look. Uh, this is supposed to be like a weapons rack or something, but uh, maybe you can tell me how I actually get weapons on the, on the wall. Do I have to do another quest or maybe I just need to interact with it properly? Then we got this beautiful, spacious outlook so we can see the mountain, right? Looks good. Yeah, I love her. I love the new home. I hope you love her, too. We get constant fish. I'll be taking you with me. We even bought a little flower bed. I'm assuming that this will uh, provide us reagents in the future, and that makes me a happy boy. I love free shit. Are we a minute and 30 into the video? Either way, I, we all know what we're going to do this week. You don't know? I know. Don't worry. I know what we're going to do this week. We are going to start doing labyrinths this week. Um, I want to get into some of the labyrinths. I've never done them. I don't think I, I may have done them in uh, Breath of the Wild. But uh, I want to upgrade the Sticky Boy armor because we're Sticky Boys for life now. So we need to get with it. Hello. Bapon, the air out here is terrible. <laughs> you came to me to have your clothing enhanced, right? With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. All right, enhance away. We want sticky boy armor, so it's gonna take us some sticky lizards. Good thing we got some on deck. Enhance me up. Now close your eyes. We're gonna watch it once. And then we're gonna skip. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that by myself a few times. <laughs> uh -huh. ba ba So that's everything first level. Uh -huh. Let's see what it takes. We can't get it to the second level. The fairy is not strong enough to do so. Let's get out of here. We got work to do. See you later, uh, pretty lady. So we got a bunch of labyrinths we can do. We got this one up here. I think we're going to start with this one here in the corner because it looks the most ominous to me. And uh, we want that kind of smoke in our life. Yeah, we can get anywhere with the hover bike. But uh, let's, you know what? I'm going to take an executive decision. We're going to knock this shrine out first. What? How bad could it be? Flotational brilliance. The Rassy Whack Knack Shrine. All right, I like the Rassy Whack Shrine. Uh, actually, I just went and saw Joker today. The new Joker movie, Joker 2, Joker Fruitaloo. Fru <laughs> Fruitaloops. The Joker, Wee oui, Wee oui, Monsieur, uh, oh, Mon Petit. I just saw that. It was pretty um bad. Look, I'm just going to tell you like this. I'm not going to spoil any of the movies, so you don't have to worry about that. But uh, the reviews are correct, all right? The reviews are right. That's all I'm going to tell you, is that the reviews are not a joking matter, my man. They are, they are telling you something that you need to be aware of. Let's put that there. Pull this down. Just go ahead and pull it down. That didn't work. Okay. All right. Oh, you need to cut it. Sometimes you got to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Ooh, we got a flotational device. Oh, and then you grab it. Pull, okay, attach it, attach it, attach it. And then we're just gonna flip her. We're just gonna house flippers. Love it or list it. The property bros. Can we flip it? Can I, I can't move it? Oh, I have to put it underneath? Maybe. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, there it goes. I mean, look, whatever. It freaking worked, bro. Give me my arrow back. Get down. And then 
Rewind. Get back down. All right, now we'll pop you up. Okay, you okay? You get a little air? Okay. Can I rewind myself? Don't hit me in the head. Can I rewind myself because I missed it? I tried to time it like a like a life weaver pedal jump. It didn't work quite quite right. Leave it down there for a second. All right, let her rip, and then you rewind her. And this time we're ready. This time we're ready. All right, this time we're ready. And then let her rip. Let her rip. Let her rip. Oh, it comes back up. What an odd puzzle. <laughs> I feel like I didn't do it right, but you know what? What do you, who needs to do it right when it when it's done wrong, you know? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm think I'm doing pretty good here. I would just say with the Joker movie, oh, see it for yourself. You make your be your own judge. Okay, so here's the thing. Like, I don't. I'm pretty sure this is common knowledge. Is that the new Joker movie is it's got it's a musical a little bit, right? It's a little bit of a musical, right? I don't know how you feel about musicals. I love musicals, all right? I'm a grease boy, all right? You didn't know this about me. Yes, I'm a grease boy. Sweeney Todd is unironically one of my favorite movies ever created. Like, I I, I know it did not receive like uh, the highest accolades or anything when it was on its original theater release. I, I know it's not touted as like a, a, a benchmark in the musical community and frankly i don't care i think that uh johnny depp did a wonderful job i am in love with Hel helena bonham carter even into her later years she's still a beautiful queen look at the that's a wild boy hold on this is a wild boy i need i need some of these balls i don't like the way that came out but i do what hold on Hold on there, Tiger. Hold the hydraulics. Booyah. I'm gonna let you know right now. Um, I am a big, I'm big on the chest. But if I don't find them, we gotta get out of here. All right. Jonas is no longer with us to help me with finding chest. So we we might just be moving on. But yes, musicals. I love them to death, man. Like feed me more musicals. Name another musical. I guarantee you, I enjoy it. What is, what do we do here? Do I put one of these balls on it? You want one of these balls? There you go. Gotcha. <laughs> that was actually the answer. All right, yeah, we win! Woo! Easy shrine, baby. We thought it was gonna be a problem, never. Cool, cool, cool. Now that we're back on the outside, let's get ready. Like, wh why has it gotta be so high? Is the, is the question I have. So simple, so sleek, yet so versatile. If you don't know, and now you know, Yiga clan. I'm an avid moviegoer, though. I have, like, the uh, the Regal Cinema Unlimited plan where you get to see, like, as many movies as you want because I, I really do love going to the movies. I like seeing even bad movies. Favorite genre? Probably horror. Probably horror, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna box me into a box here. I don't appreciate you trying to do that myself. <clears throat> Research log, day one. It took us two days to reach the isolated island. Though the ruins stood before us, we were too exhausted to explore. Though weary, Toro was able to decipher the Zonai writing on a stone slab. The dungeon ring slumbers in a labyrinth's death. Wake it, and ye shall receive due compensation. While his translation provided me with renewed vigor, Toro shortly thereafter fell ill with fatigue. After seeing him off on his way home, I swore to tackle the ruins for myself. The acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to it that I do not get lost inside. Though I am alone, I need to work hard enough for both Toro and myself. All right, so there's a nut trail. There's a trail of nuts. I'm with it. It is damp out here. <gasps> this is the perfect time. Let's test the real elasticity of the stickiness. Upgraded sticky suit test right here. There we go. How often do I slide? It's wet. He never slides. The man never slides. I'm never sliding again. Oh, if you jump, you slide, though. 
But if you just regular climb, you never slide. Oh, that's... Oh, there's a little one. So there's, there's a chance for a slide. I'm not sure. All right. Very cool. I wanted to, I've always wanted to know. Uh, let's see if we can decipher anything on the stone slab. It's engraved with ancient Zonai text. You can't make out what it says. Okay. All right. So we're looking for nuts. There's one. Is this like deep water? No, just some parts of it are deep water. All right, we got acorns. I'm actually, I'm thinking I should like leave them here so that I know how to get back. I mean, I guess I'm fine. Uh, I'm gonna, eh, I'm gonna take it. Give me my acorns, F it. I don't care, what's the worst that could happen? I get lost? We're gonna make this easy on ourselves, all right? <laughs> who needs, who needs a boat when you've got the fly? All right, we're over here. Please, please land. That's the one thing. We, we don't know how to land it yet, but that's okay. And this is solid ground. And this is just a pile of sticks. But on the other side of this pile of sticks lies the answer to our problems. Oh, that's scary. I wonder what's behind Dimension Door X. Can I get in here? I can. I can get in here, bro. I'm in here. It's over there. Oh, there's another log. Oh, and a nut, dude. We got a nut here. All right, let's check it out. Enemies? Are there enemies in here? I'm not sure. Research log day two. I walk carefully, avoiding the stirring gloom. Just one touch and it will invade the body in the blink of an eye. It was a wise decision to send Toro home, allowing him to continue our trek in his condition may have proven fatal. But why exactly is this strange gloom? But what exactly is this strange gloom? Uh, more importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsmen who delved beneath Hyrule Castle to investigate it? I can only pray for their safety. Hmm. We got more nuts. Oh yeah, baby, this is this is good. And do you have a favorite movie? I, you know what? I do have a movie that I like more than most movies. Um, I would have to say it's a, it's a toss up between uh, Friday and Fight Club. Oh my God, I've dated myself. I have been dated. Smacking with the rackum. All right, we're following nuts right now. I think we're doing good. There's some nuts here. Oh my God, Yanobo, you scared the shit out of me, man. What are you doing over there? This is kind. Of, this is a. This is an interesting choice that they did here with this. Oh, but there's rewards. Well, you should know how to treat a lady. A mighty zone ice spear. I will take it over. Uh, nothing. Just leave it in there. <laughs> Just leave. I don't need any more weapons, man. Give me some rupees. I said the word right. Probably the first time in my life. Please clap. I've also decided to leave the nuts now. I don't know if you've noticed that. Probably not the best idea. <laughs> Pro probably should have just uh, hard stuck at picking them all up. Because now I won't know if I'm backtracking or not. You know? But you know what? We make our decisions. There's a nut here. I know that I can make a hot air balloon and just like rise above it if I ever feel like overwhelmed or if I'm like, I don't know where to go next. So we do have options here. This is just a lot of me just walk. Oh, we got something new. A lot of me walking around, bro. All right, this is new. This is new. This is new. This is new. This is good. This is good. This is literally just a maze. I thought it was going to be like a, a labyrinth with like monsters you fought on the inside. It's just you just walk around. I think we're going the right way, though. There's another nut. I like how many nuts we're picking up. Is there a nut over there? There is a nut over there, bro. I don't know. I think we got to go that way. Is there a nut over here? There's also a nut over there. Why are there nuts? There's nuts on every hall, man. This guy was just sprinkling chopped nuts all over the place. You don't know what he's doing. Oh my God, bro. Little bro put nuts in the dead end. All right, boys, we're cheating. We're halfway there. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this place. It's very confusing. 
Oh, there's a miniature map. I could have been using the miniature map to try to decipher which way I wanted to go. Oh my God. Listen, chat, you gotta understand, chat. I, I have myopia, all right? That's nearsightedness for the layman, and I don't, I don't need any applause. I know I'm brave, all right? I know that I'm a brave person for dealing with such a debilitating disease or defect or whatever you want to call it. But yes, my vision is not the best. Now, is that any reason that I should not have seen the miniature map that I've utilized so many times before? Not necessarily. All right, we're officially cheating so hard right now. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a maze boy, all right? I'm not a, I'm not a maze guy. I'm not a maze boy, I'm not a maze guy, I'm not a maze man. I would eat maze at Thanksgiving. I used Mavis Beaking typing tutor when I was growing up. The month of May is like, is cool or whatever. I liked Aunt May in the, uh, <laughs> she was played by uh, Marissa Torme. Oh, that's a double May. Marissa Torme playing May. And right now I'm feeling pretty dismayed. So looky here. I found a shrine in the middle of this thing. All right, so it looks like this is the center of the uh, of the labyrinth. Okay, so when I got here, I think I was really close. I just didn't go the right way, it seems. So I think we come over here. And yes, it, yes. Yeah, yes. We're getting so close, yes. There we go, we got a ladder. This is what I was looking for. Then we come in here, we're scared for our lives. Check your surroundings, know your area. Okay, okay. Spicy meatballs. We can always take stairs. Oh wow, didn't realize this went so far. We've committed. Oh, oh, oh! Dirty girls. The Ig Igishuk Shrine. The Ig the Igishuk. Igishuk Shrine. <laughs> Okay, so we can we open this now? I think we did it! Oh, holy crap. That's, so that's what the labyrinth is? You just gotta find your way through, okay. Whoa, find it on the sky, oh, okay. The Lomerini Labyrinth Island Prophecy. Okay, I don't know what that means even. Is that just death? I don't know if that's death or not. Can we do this real quick? Oh, but uh, yes, we can. All right, cool. Well, you know what? Very happy with the way this episode turned out. We did make it to the end of the labyrinth. And it let me know that from now on, I will just, uh, I will find the center and just try to find a way in from there. And honestly, a good, a good way to do it. So until the next one, thank you for joining me. Um, take care of yourselves, uh, and each other. No, who does, who says that? Is that Jerry Springer? Take care of yourselves and each other. That's a Jerry Springer. I kind of like it though. I might, I might use it. Until the next time, TNT Dynamite, and I'm out.